In this session, we'll look at a really quick way to create parking lot striping using Autodesk Vehicle Tracking. On my screen is a drawing that represents a proposed parking lot design. I'm going to zoom in a little bit and hover to show you that the back of curb geometry and edge of pavement geometry were created using polylines. At this point, I'd like to start adding parking stalls around this curve. First, we'll do it using a more traditional workflow. Now, I've got the Vehicle Tracking Ribbon tab open. Here in the Parking panel, I'll select New Row, and then I'm not going to use the Start or End Islands, so I will toggle those off here in the Parking Row Properties dialog box. I will start my Parking Row at the end point of the edge of pavement, and we'll take this down to the other end point. I'll press Enter. I will then click to the inside to set the location of the stalls. I will then click this triangular grip to pull this out into an arc and we'll snap it to the midpoint of the edge of pavement. I'll press escape when finished. Now I'm sure you'll agree that creating the stalls this way is much faster than doing it manually. Let's look at a shortcut now that will let me put these same stalls in using only a couple mouse clicks. I'm going to select this row and I'll press delete to remove it and then we'll put it in again. Except this time, rather than using the new row tool, I'm going to expand the icon and I'll choose parallel row. Same as before, we will toggle off the start and end islands. Notice that it's asking me to select an object. This is where we typically select another parking row. I don't have to though, I can actually select geometry instead. If I hover, you can see that I have a polyline representing this curve. I'm going to select that, and my resulting parking row is now parallel to that object. In this case, the geometry needs a zero offset. I'll just press enter to accept that and then I'll click to the inside to set the stripes, and I'll press escape when finished. As you can see, creating stalls by selecting geometry can save you several picks and clicks. Now, in this case, I placed stalls along a simple arc. If the geometry I selected was longer or more complex, this workflow would make me even faster. For example, let's say I'd like to create stalls along this entire stretch of pavement. If I zoom in and select that geometry, you can see it was created as a single polyline. I'll press escape, and I'll zoom in. Once again, we'll choose Parallel Row. I'll toggle off the Start and End Islands. I'll select my polyline and press Enter. I'll click to the inside, and I'll press Escape. And that's it. I just added about 100 stalls that follow my geometry and match my design standards, and I did it in about four mouse clicks. So the next time you're creating parking stalls, consider using Autodesk Vehicle Tracking. And more importantly, use the Parallel Row feature and match the stalls to your selected geometry. It just might be the fastest way to create parking lot striping. Would you like to explore other Autodesk infrastructure ideas and workflows? If so, please visit the Civil Immersion blog by scanning the QR code or by following the URL listed below.